welcome friends for online session class 10th subject biology how do organism reproduce part 2 so we are divided this chapter into different session and this is the second session so i am gr chopde pgt biology jnv sangli so introduction multicellular organisms we have studied they use both asexual and also sexual mode of reproduction it depends upon the involvement of okay here there are involvement of a two individuals that is male or female before formation of a new generation then what is the significance the yeah, importance of sexual mode of reproduction how it takes place in plants that we are going to discuss today now asexual reproduction we have seen types fission in unicellular budding also takes place in yeast that is unicellular fragmentation regeneration spore formation and vegetative propagation so all they takes place in multicellular organisms so already we have studied uh, this uh, fission budding then fragmentation regeneration and spore formation now today we will discuss a vegetative propagation it is a type of asexual reproduction in which new plants here only plants are produced from either the root part a stem part a leaves part or even the bud part because these parts are referred as vegetative parts so best example of the exactly the farmer grow sugar cane how sugar cane he grow he cut the stem into number of pieces consist of a node and bud put in the soil and the new sugar cane will develop yeah you might have seen in your garden many plant or rose or even champa a champaka vegetative propagation may be two types that is natural if it is takes place naturally natural method yeah if the man is involved in that it is called artificial method see here certain vegetative parts like root so root in sweet potato this is sweet potato or in a dahlia so if you take cut the root and separate and place it in a moist soil new plant will come so that is artificial and if you leave as it is new plants are developed from the root so that is natural then stem you can take this example that is stem ke liye onion aap le sakte okay onion ya potato the tuber of potato ya rhizome of ginger okay or even in runner of grass or sucker of chrysanthemum these are the terminologies what they use so onion potato ginger or any grass or even banana so all they will reproduce through naturally by the stem if you come to a sugar cane that is artificial also natural also then if you consider a leaf okay leaf see bryophyllum so you can see here adventitious buds are found in the bryophyllum adventitious buds you can see here so everywhere there is a bud so these buds are present at the nodal region so the bud is present at the nodal region from that the new plants are produced so from leaf the plantlets develop from the marginal notch you can see here this is the notch a notch and intact leaves so the, and they fall and develop into a new so see here shoot are developing new one 1 2 3 4 up count kar sakte five even this side also so if you want to see you can see the video so how that will grow so the new plants are also develop from the cut part see this is how to grow a tree from a bryophyllum leaf a plant in a moist soil spray water after 15 days see the new plants will be developed
write this activity. So it is there in your textbook. Now, so there are other artificial method also called cutting. Yeah, layering. What is your cutting? A piece of branch is cut from here and embedded in the moist soil or root from a farm and new plants will develop. Layering a branch of the plant, a branch hai, bend karte of the plant is laid on the ground and portion is covered with a moist soil. And here the new roots will develop and that will give rise to new plant. So here the roots are developed before uh, after cutting and here the roots are developed before cutting that is called cutting and layering yeah very commonly used is grafting grafting so here the joining of two parts one is that is stock part lower part and the upper part is a seal. so that can be tie yeah see that thread and that is called a grafting yeah it is called column so this is what you can do now the modern method is tissue culture the technique of growing plants in an artificial medium a yeah, synthetic medium so here they will take a plant that is we call a x plant either a x plant so this is the x plant first step then x plant place in a culture medium that culture medium contain all requirements like agar medium is there carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen all nutrients of they accept they accept which is required for the plant then culture in a septic condition that is free from microorganisms so here the plantlets will develop that is root and shoots are developed when we add a hormones that is auxin and cytokinin we have studied in control and coordination chapter and then plants are propagated so this process will continue see where you can use this applications deco rapid multiplication of plants in tissue culture use karte. throughout the year multiplication no season is required because of this laboratory mein tayar kar rahe. pathogen free any virus free plants best example banana ya embryo ko rescue kar sakte aapne suna hoga when the farmer sow the seed 60% germinate, 40% germination nahi hote. So that is due to certain embryo problem. So usko aap nikal ke grow kar sakte. Drought ya pathogen ya salinity tolerant plants grow. New hybrid species tayar kar sakte. Quick selection of mutant plants. Easy availability of plant chemicals ya synthetic seed. Aapne suna hoga. Okay. That is ball seeds banate farmers. Now, what is the advantages of vegetative propagation? Plant produced by vegetative propagation, they can bear flowers very early, okay, very early. Fruits are produced earlier than those produced from the germination of the seed. So, cho ek farmer ne mango seed dala hai, aur ek farmer ne grafting kiya ho mango plant lagaya hai. So, which plant will give early fruits? Yes, naturally, the grafted one. Because vegetative propagation. Growing banana, ya orange, ya rose, ya jasmine. Because these plants, they do not have the ability to produce seed. Income jada tar seedless plants, bolte, especially banana or grapes. Bhi aap le sakte. So they lost the capacity to produce seed. Such plants can be grow by vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation, say we can produce genetically similar plants, yeah, identical plants. So genetic, hum maintain kar sakte hai. That is clone on tayar kar sakte hai. Now, come to the sexual reproduction. When reproduction takes place as the result of the fusion of two gametes, that is male and female gamete. So that is called sexual reproduction. So this process of fusion between the two gametes is called fertilization. So the formation of gametes in all exchange of chromosome or genetic materials. Because father or mother ke chromosomes are So there is exchange between the homologous chromosomes. So that cause the genetic recombination. Naya recombination aapke shereer mein tayar hota hai, which leads to variation. Jo, what you have studied, variation in the beginning. 
देन वाई सेक्सुअल मोड सेक्सुअल मोड तो बहुत ही कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसेस है टू पेरेंट्स यहाँ पे इन्वॉल्व होना है मेल और फीमेल असेक्सुअल में एक ही पेरेंट है और सिंपल है फिर भी वाई सो हियर द क्रिएशन ऑफ टू न्यू सेल्स दैट इज मेल और फीमेल इन ऑल कॉपिंग ऑफ डी एन ए इन बोथ द सेल्स एंड ऑल्सो सेल्युलर एपरेटस वी नो दैट डी एन ए कॉपिंग कैन नॉट बी एब्सोल्यूटली एक्यूरेट तो कुछ ना कुछ एरर हो जाते हैं सो द रिजल्टेंट एरर्स आर ए सोर्स ऑफ वेरिएशन इन पॉपुलेशन ऑफ दैट ऑर्गेनिजम so variations we know they are very useful to ensure the survival of the species hame malum hai so therefore during dna copying mechanism variation we know that it is a slow process but variation taking place in both male or female both are contributing so there is more variation found in the next generation compared to asexual reproduction now if you come to here see that sexual reproduction combining variation from two or more individual create new combination take for example here i have mentioned the gene with capital b small b and here capital e small e ye dono homologous chromosomes hai same size homologous now when their gametes are produced see how the chromosomes are get separated it may capital b small e yeah capital b small e and another one is small b small e or small b capital e to so, yahan pe four combinations taiyar ho gaye now consider these are pollen grains ya male gamete ya female gamete so four different types of gametes har ek parent mein taiyar hone ke chances with respect to one gene i have taken that is capital b or capital e Each each combination, combination 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 would be a novel because it in all two different individuals. Abhi think about uh, this gamete is coming from male and this gamete is coming from female. तो अभी देखो combination अलग होगा compared to this combination, whatever it is. So therefore, sexual reproduction incorporate इन add करता है combining of a DNA. from two different individuals that is male from other female from another generation to ye dono ke genes ko combined karta hai so therefore variation is more in sexual reproduction but there are certain difficulties what is the main difficulty each new generation is the combination of dna copies from the two pre existing individual अभी सोचो एक इंडिविजुअल में फोर नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोसोम्स है दैट इज डिप्लॉयड टू एन सो वन पेरेंट इज गिविंग फोर क्रोमोसोम्स ओके एंड दैट इज एंड अनदर इंडिविजुअल गिविंग अनदर फोर क्रोमोसोम सो व्हाट इज द रिजल्ट विल बिकम सो द नंबर विल इंक्रीज एट अगर यही प्रोसेस होते गया अगेन टू इंडिविजुअल वॉट इज द नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम इज सिक्सटीन so this process will go on increasing abhi hamara human beings ka le lo 46 from the father 46 from the mother to kitne honge aapke sharir mein yes that is 92 again you will become the parent to 92 92 to kya hoga sirf dna amount will increase us but aisa nahi hota hai that problem is solved each new generation will have twice the amount of dna if this process will continue but organisms have a special mechanism wo mechanism unhone ye develop kiya hai okay so that mechanism develop by this living organism and wo you have studied in the 9th standard mitosis or meiosis cell division organisms have a germ cell that is gamete which are produ produced in specialized organ that is testis ya ovary ya stamen and carpel we are going to study and they have only half the number of chromosomes that is haploid so here diploid number of chromosomes become haploid yani hamare sharir mein agar 46 hai to gamete carry 23 that is half 
अगर इधर फोर क्रोमोजोम है सो दीज गैमेट्स कैरी ओनली टू क्रोमोजोम ईच गैमेट कैरी हाफ द नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम तो जीन भी हाफ होंगे ओके एंड दैट प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व बाय मियोसिस so this is due to meiosis division okay now gametes have the half the amount of dna as compared to the non reproductive body cells that is plant may root stem leaf they have diploid number hamare sharir mein everything is diploid except the germ cell these germ cells from the two individuals that is male and female combine and form a new individual to so, n aur n abhi aage n kya hoga 2n it result in restore the number of chromosome and the dna content in the new generation jo problem aa raha tha sexual reproduction mein wo problem solve ho gaya meiosis division see here egg carry 23 chromosome sperm carry 23 chromosome both will fuse and the fertilization result in 46 chromosomes or 23 pair again the embryo has the same number of chromosomes as their parent 46 double nahi hua okay so in multicellular organism female gamete ya what you call germ cell is generally large hai dikhne mein ye non motile hota hai okay and contains more food iske andar more food reserve because that is required for embryo and produce in less number difference between male or female germ cell puchhenge male germ cell ya male gamete generally smaller hota hai aur motile hota hai produce in large number zyada sankhya taiyar hoti hai aur generally does not store more food okay so that is the difference between male gamete or female gamete male and female germ cell Okay now see this video sexual reproduction Nature is home to an enormous variety of flowering plants that variety is thanks to sexual reproduction which produces a genetically unique individual from two parents the flower of a plant houses the male and female sexual reproductive organs which produce sex cells called gametes Most cells are described as diploid This means they have two sets of chromosomes, one from each parent. But gametes have just one set of chromosomes. They are described as haploid. This lies at the heart of sexual reproduction and generating variation. Male gametes are found inside pollen grains which are produced in the flower's anthers. The female gametes are found inside the ovules which are produced in the flower's ovary. The transfer of pollen between flowers is known as pollination. Pollen is released from the anther of the plant and is destined for the stigma of the same or a different plant. In insect pollinated plants, the stigma is sticky. So pollen carried by an insect attaches to it. For wind pollinated plants, the stigma is feathery or net-like and catches airborne pollen. After pollination, the pollen grain germinates and produces a pollen tube that grows through the style towards the ovary. After it reaches the ovary, the pollen grain releases its nucleus, the nucleus of the two gametes, one from the pollen grain and one from the ovule, fuse and complete fertilization. This creates a single fertilized cell called a zygote. The zygote in the fertilized ovule multiplies, grows and develops into a seed. This seed contains a food store and an embryo that will grow into an entirely new plant containing genes from both parent plants. In time, that plant too will go on to flower and reproduce through pollination. A new zygote will be produced and a new seed will grow into another plant. So this is how the life cycle of plants takes place and that is called sexual reproduction it is start from the flower flower produce male and female gametes so there is a transfer of pollen grains called pollination after pollination there is a formation uh, process called fertilization fertilization leads to formation of a zygote zygote develop into a embryo that produce in the seed and the seed germinate and give a plant and the new plant will produce flower and the cycle will continue so sexual reproduction new plants are obtained from a seeds seeds are produced in fruit 
and the fruit formed from a flower part that is ovary so flower is the reproductive part of a plant now see so this is a green color outermost layer called sepal this is brightly colored called petal then here there is a stamen stamen contain two part a long stalk that is filament and the tip contains expanded part called anther anther will produce pollen grains at the center there is a swollen part ovary ovary produce ovules and the long stalk that is middle part style and the sticky part at the tip called stigma so ovary style stigma together called pistil so pistil is a female reproductive part stamen is a male reproductive part and petal and sepal are non reproductive part so all they are produced on a thalamus and which is attached to the stalk draw the diagram of flower given in the textbook that is sufficient so flower consist see sepal which is a green in color leaf like and protect the flower especially during the bud stage you have prepare the food petals are brightly colored they attract insects or other organisms for pollination and stamens we know they are the male reproductive part and pistil is a female reproductive part so ye diagram aap nikal sakte hain sepal petal then here stamen that is anther and filament then pistil ovary style and stigma okay let's have certain concept test so jaise hi arrow mark aayega aap video pause karke arrow mark aane ke baad pause the video and identify the part go to the next this one yes right stigma this one yes style this one good ovary then this one in between pause that is anther this one filament very good anther produce pollen grains okay then this is called pistil and this side we call stamen now what is this part it is sepal very good and this is a petal okay so group of sepal again there is a corolla uh, calyx group of petal corolla group of stamen androsium group of that is pistil gynosium a technical word say for your competitive exam wo bhi aap dekh sakte hain now abhi types of flower based on number of organs sex organ that is stamen or pistil unisexual flower uni single flower which contain either only the pistil or only the stamen so pistillate flower staminate flower best example corn ya maize papaya ya cucumber bisexual flower flower which contain both stamen or pistil dono ek sath honge many flowers are bisexual mustard rose petunia ya aur bhi koi aap le sakte hain so the male and female jo unisexual hote hain especially corn corn they ka present on one plant may be present on the same plant corn mein dekha hoga niche female hota hai upar aisa male hota hai ya papaya papaya mein do alag plant hote hain male plant alag female plant alag so may be present on same may be present on different plants कुकुम्बर भी एक में होते हैं नाउ सी हियर सो दिस इज ए पंपकिन सो दिस इज मेल फ्लावर ओवरी है इधर स्टिग्मा है ये फीमेल फ्लावर ओनली स्टेमन्स है हियर ये सेंटर में ओवरी है साइड में स्टेमन्स है सो दिस इज बायसेक्सुअल फ्लावर नाउ दिस इज बायसेक्सुअल बिकॉज बोथ एंथर या स्टेमन एंड पिस्टिल इज प्रेजेंट हियर ओनली पिस्टिल इज प्रेजेंट सो दिस इज फीमेल फ्लावर या पिस्टिलेट फ्लावर Stamen. Stamen is a male reproductive part. आपको पता है. It contains two parts, anther and filament. Diagram देख लो इधर. Filament and anther. Anther contain pollen grain. या produce pollen grains. When you touch a flower, so you will get a yellowy sticky powder. So that is nothing but pollen grains, which produce a male gametes. या carry male gametes. Pollen grains have very tough protective coat. 
दैट इज एंटाइन एक्साइन ये भी आप देख सकते हैं ज्यादा पढ़ने के लिए प्रिवेंट फ्रॉम ड्राइंग अप ओके ये देखो ये है आंसर अगेन यहाँ पे दो लो भी हो सकते हैं सिंगल लो भी हो सकता है ओके एंड दिस इज अ लॉन्ग स्टॉक या फिलामेंट वेन यू कट दैट एंथर वी गेट ए चेम्बर वी कॉल दे आर पोलन सैक्स या यंग होता है तो माइक्रोस्पोर एंजिया then there is a line of dehiscence yani break so this pollen sac contain pollen grains and pollen grains of different species have different size different shape and different color so find out from the internet uh, the branch of biology which study with the pollen grains study of pollen grains don't do increase your knowledge ye aapko main extra work de raha hu now come to the carpel or pistil it is a female reproductive part present in the center of a flower a central part it is made up of three different parts ovary solen basal ya bottom part which produce ovules that is female gamete middle part ko hum bolenge stem style aur jo third tip mein hota hai that is a stigma terminal part which may be sticky स्टिकी होता है स्पेशली इंसेक्ट पोलिनेटेड में या विंड पोलिनेटेड में द ओवरी प्रोड्यूस या कंटेन ओवल्स ओवल एंड ईच ओवल हैज ए वन फीमेल जर्म सेल यग सेल अगेन विच इज हेप्लॉइड तो पोलन ग्रेन कैरी मेल गैमेट्स दो मेल गैमेट्स लेके आता है और ओवल कंटेन वन यग सेल और बाकी के वो सेल्स होते वो हम देखेंगे दिस इज पिस्टिल ऑफ चाइना रोज ये भी आप ऐसा देख सकते हैं या यू कैन ड्रॉ एनी वन ऑफ दिस डायग्राम नाउ पोलिनेशन व्हाट इज पोलिनेशन ट्रांसफर ऑफ पोलन ग्रेन्स फ्रॉम एंथर टू द स्टिग्मा ऑफ ए पिस्टिल या कार्पेल अब यू सी इन द फर्स्ट फ्लावर द एंथर्स फ्रॉम दिस पोलन ग्रेन्स फ्रॉम दिस एंथर आर ट्रांसफरिंग टू द स्टिग्मा ऑफ दिस फ्लावर सो दिस इज सेल्फ पोलिनेशन or the pollen grains from this flower is transferring to the stigma of another flower to so either do flower alag hai plant bhi alag hai lekin same species hai so this is cross pollination self pollination transfer of pollen grains from anther to the stigma of the same flower so many best example is pea plant cross pollination pollen grains are transferred from one flower to another flower of same species example sunflower le lo hibiscus le lo so to achieve a cross pollination agents are required so wind may be agent wind carry pollen grains water pollinated flowers animal pollinated flower insect pollinated flowers so they use one latin word filly एंटमोफिली एनिमोफिली हाइड्रोफिली ओके ऐसा देख लो पॉलिनेशन इज अ ट्रांसफर ऑफ पॉलिन फ्रॉम द मेल एंथर ऑफ वन फ्लावर टू द फीमेल स्टिग्मा ऑफ अनादर दिस इज पॉलिनेशन फ्लावर्स कैन बी पॉलिनेटेड इन डिफरेंट वेज बाय विंड एंड वॉटर और बाय पॉलिनेटर्स सच एज इंसेक्ट्स बर्ड्स एंड अदर एनिमल्स फ्लावर्स पॉलिनेटेड But pollinators are structurally different from those pollinated by wind or water. Look at the differences in size, scent, and color of the petals, and the positioning of the stamen and style. Here are some key differences. Why do you think they are different? This is the basic difference between wind and water pollinated. Okay, outside the flower, within the petals, you can see the pollinators. Okay, scented. ऐसा यानी इंसेक्ट्स वगैरह है तो ये पोलिनेटर्स में ऐसा यस साइज स्मॉल लार्ज डल कलर ब्राइट कलर ये एक्स्ट्रा पढ़ सकते हैं नाउ नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज फर्टिलाइजेशन द प्रोसेस ऑफ फ्यूजन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल गैमेट इज कॉल्ड फर्टिलाइजेशन आफ्टर द पोलन लैंड ऑन ए सुटेबल स्टिग्मा ये देखो पोलन ग्रेन सुटेबल स्टिग्मा के ऊपर लैंड होगा ये स्टिग्मा डिसाइड करता है राइट काइंड ऑफ पोलन ग्रेन सो ये पोलन ग्रेन जर्मिनेट ये जर्मिनेट होगा एंड प्रोड्यूस ए पोलन टू दैट ट्रेवल्स थ्रू द स्टाइल स्टाइल से थ्रू द पास होगा एंड रीच द ओवरी 
where the ovules are present and that process is here we call chemotrophism control and coordination phototrophism thigmotrophism geotrophism same way chemotrophism that is movement of plant part towards the chemical and that chemicals are secreted here by female germ cell it reaches the female germ cell which is present in the ovule in the ovary so the tip of the pollen too abhi wo burst hota hai break hota hai and two male gametes are released in the embryo sac that is ovul so one male gamete fuse ya yeah, unite with the egg cell and form a zygote so that is called fertilization or we use the word syngamy also yes why syngamy okay that is true fertilization ये भी आप लिख सकते हैं सो सेकेंड मेल गैमेट क्योंकि दो मेल गैमेट होते हैं फ्यूज विद द टू पोलर न्यूक्लिया अभी टू पोलर न्यूक्लिया दैट इज टू एन एंड फॉर्म ए एंडोस्पम सो देर फोर मेल गैमेट का न्यूक्लियस और फीमेल गैमेट के टू एन सो ऑलवेज द एंडोस्पर्म इज थ्री एन ट्रिप्लॉइड एंड हियर द जाइगोट इज ऑलवेज ए डिप्लॉइड Zygote is deployed, or endosperm of a plant, endospermic plant, a triploid होता है. Endosperm, नारियल का जो पानी होता है, that is nothing but endosperm, coconut milk. So as the two nuclei participate in the process, इधर दो nuclei participate हो रहा है, and at two times the fertilization is taking place. So two times there is a fertilization. So therefore जब टू टाइम फर्टिलाइजेशन होता है ओके इट इज कॉल्ड डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन सो एंजियोस्पर्म का कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स है डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन वन विथ यग सेल प्रोड्यूस जाइगोट अनदर विथ पोलर न्यूक्लिया प्रोड्यूस एंडोस्पर्म सी हियर हाउ दैट फर्टिलाइजेशन द सेल विच रिजल्ट आफ्टर फ्यूजन ऑफ द गैमेट इज कॉल्ड जाइगोट ए ओवरी ए ओवल्स पोलन ग्रेन जर्मिनेट प्रोड्यूस पोलन ट्यूब carry two male gametes two male gametes reach to the embryo sac see what the embryo sac consist contain three and dipodal cell 1 2 3 two polar nuclei either two synarchids and one egg cell abhi fertilization mein involve ho raha hai egg cell with male gamete and polar nuclei with male gamete to isliye ye zygote banega ye endosperm banega so that is called double fertilization zygote develops into embryo okay now see this video fertilization results in the production of seeds a mature pollen grain containing two male sex cells has landed on the female stigma of the same species the pollen grain grows a pollen tube that goes down the female cell to the ovary where it enters through an opening called the micropyle The male sex cells travel from the pollen grain down to the pollen tube to the female ovule. This is the first male gamete. Yeah, one male sex cell fuses with the female egg, fertilizing it. This develops into a seed. The other male sex cell attaches to two cells in the embryo sac, forming an endosperm. This provides the starchy food for the seed to grow. The ovary enlarges and becomes a fruit. surrounding the internal seeds the fruit and seeds are dispersed okay now fertilization you can draw this diagram very important it is given in your textbook pollen grain land on stigma pollen grain germinate carry the two male germ cells by the pollen tube pollen tube pass through the style and reach to the ovary where the ovule is present inside the ovule this is the embryo sac embryo sac contain female germ cell and two polar nuclei so what happens after fertilization after fertilization zygote divide several time by mitosis and form a embryo within the ovule then jo ovule tha ovule become seed so fertilized the ovule is called seed aur jo ovary tha ovary grow into fruit Yeah, ripened ovary is called fruit, 
एंड जो रिमेनिंग पार्ट्स है सेपल है पेटल है ओके एंड्रोसियम है स्टाइल है स्टिग्मा इन सम दे रिटेन एंड सम इट विल फॉल ऑफ ओके आप देख लो ऐसा सो देन फ्रूट एंड सीड फॉर्मेशन द सीड कंटेन एन एम्ब्रियो एनक्लोज इन ए प्रोटेक्टिव सीड कोड सी दिस इज द सीड ए डायग्राम इंपॉर्टेंट है माइक्रोपाइल देन हाइलम एंड दिस इज द सीड कोट वेन यू ओपन द सीड कोट यू गेट टू कॉटिलिडॉन्स एंड एट द सेंटर देर इज ए एम्ब्रियो एम्ब्रियो कैरी टू पार्ट रेडिकल एंड प्लीमर ओके और इधर कोकोनट में भी आप देख सकते हैं या मैंगो सीड है देन एडिबल पार्ट मिसो कार्प है इधर एडिबल पार्ट ये देख सकते हैं आप एंडो कार्प है एक्चुअली दिस इज द एंडोस्पर ये पूरा एंडोस्पर सीड सीड डेवलप इन टू ए सीड लिंक अंडर अप्रोपराइट कंडीशन दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज सीड जर्मिनेशन सो द रेडिकल दट इज फ्यूचर रूट ऑफ एम्ब्रियो बिकम फ्यूचर रूट एंड द प्लूमूल बिकम फ्यूचर शूट एंड द कॉटिल स्टोर द फूड इधर आपको क्वेश्चन आएंगे वट इज द फ्यूचर रूट फ्यूचर शूट एंड हु विल स्टोर द फूड तो ये डायग्राम इंपॉर्टेंट है इवन प्रैक्टिकल के लिए सो कॉटिल स्टोर द फूड ओके ये आप देख सकते हैं what you have discussed just to summarize reproduction involves creation of dna copy and the additional cellular apparatus by the cell in all in the reproductive process so various organisms use different modes of reproduction depending upon their body design root stem and leaves of some plant develop into new plant and that called as vegetative propagation it is one kind of asexual reproduction because single parent is involved no formation of gametes and the plants are genetically similar so these are examples of asexual reproduction where new generation are created from a single individual sexual reproduction involves the two individuals for the creation of new individual so the modes of sexual reproduction allow for greater variations to be generated then the reproduction in flowering plants involves transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma which is referred as pollination and the pollination may be cell pollination or cross pollination which is followed by fertilization and after fertilization ovum will become seed that contain future plant called as embryo or embryo mein aapne padha hai there is plumule develop into shoot radical develop into root and the cotyledon store the food okay so i hope you understand how the vegetative propagation and sexual reproduction in plants takes place when you meet next time you will study how sexual reproduction takes place in animals especially human beings oh hum dekhenge okay so thank you